You did it! Oh, you found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. It's all right, Mr. Oaks. I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin, you're either very lucky or very talented. How did you find me? I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I couldn't go through with the agreement, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. Been locked in that infernal cell for so long, they'd forgot I was even there. I overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasted goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. <sighs> Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ranrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ranrock has despised wizard kind, sees us all as cruel. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my trading habits, always analyzing my detailed owls. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you, her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. And then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. Mr. Oaks was lucky. Ranrock's lot would never have freed him. Revelio. This 
looks like. to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Glad I was never locked up. That student defeated our encampment in the terrible. of your ways. Best place for an unaccompanied student. Revelio. Intriguing. Thank <laughs> you. 
Velio. Ravenia. These rocks have seen better days. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I've no You will never be able to see this through. It's one of you, isn't it? One of you. Revelio.
My mother used to say I was lazy. Hello. Do you have a moment? Yes, but just the one, I'm afraid. Running the shop keeps me rather busy. I'm the new proprietor, Indira Wolf. Any whisperings of anything going about the town? There's a rampant dug bog on the loose. It's more aggressive than others and has some peculiar markings. It's making life miserable in Pit upon Ford. I wish someone would do something about it. And what do you have for sale? Do you know what you might be looking for? Oh, you're like that. I guarantee it. what I needed. Thank you. Thank you for your business. Hope you'll come and see me again.
Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Rebellion. Revenue. I'll have you know, I'm from a lineage steeped in bravery. Why are you not When you find a good opportunity, it's wise to seize it. I shouldn't think a house elf doesn't work as hard as me. Alohomora. more.
Ravenia. Rebellion. What do we have here? A demi guys. Now, demi guys. Rebellion. is a bit too... No more of that. Now 
ourselves at Wizardkind's best. <laughs> Here's a pleasant surprise.
Velio. Ravenia. Incendio. Could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. been quite stately in its time. All wise 
one, is there? Except this time, it's not just one, is it? It's the old lava. Oh. It's been ages since I've found anything worth poaching near Karakron. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? You should be able to take care of yourself. I'm not giving you anything. How cruel! Calling me a liar! I don't need the help of someone so rude! Better hope the wolves don't get you. You won't receive a drop of help. Revelio. What do we have here? A demi guys. now, Demi guys. My sincerest gratitude, you brave soul! Thank you for passing through! I still can't believe that Bar 
Bardolph has joined the Ashwinders. Can't stand bringing him any happiness. Rebellion. Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings! Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I actually have some moons for you. Oh, my mind feels lighter already knowing those statues are gone. I did promise to show you how to improve casting Alahamora once you'd brought me enough moons. Oh, with that knowledge, you'll be able to break open even stronger locks. Mm. However, we don't yet know who's behind these statues. <laughs> Still plenty of the foul things lying in wait to torture me. Oh. If you bring me more moons, I'll show you how to cast the most powerful form of Alahamora known to wizard kind. <laughs> At least known to me. Keep looking for those moons, hmm? You'll save my sanity and we may get to the bottom of whoever's behind all of this. Revelio. Alohomora.
Revelio. Ravenia. Rebellion. Hello, Mora. Rebellion.
Revelio. Time to go. <laughs> if I. Now, Demi guys.
Ravenia. more. Ravenia. Rebellion. Yeah. 
Revelia. A little more. Revenia. Alohomora. Never encountered.
I'm trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here?
Revelia. Hogsmead, here I come. Alohomora. Alohomora. What do we have here? A demi Rebellion. Now, demi guys. Being more, well, disheartened. Rebellion. It seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Oh, 
Bavenia. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Now, Demi guys.
Venue. You're back. Nice to see you again. looking for today Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Pavelio. that travel broadens the mind. Revenia. than Hogsmeade. Alohomora.
Velia. Mind now, Demi guys. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. Careful of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Good for you. Getting all those foul goblins are hiding.
Aloha Mora. What do we have here? A demi guys. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Mind now, demi guys. Furious. Pretty though. Didn't eat much. That pictures you know Lumos doesn't mean you can't get the clock. Rebellion. Anyone can run a shop if they inherit it. Never trust a man. Ha! I hope you avoided my troll. Concerning your troll, the poor dear is out of control. He's an absolute menace to the hamlet. I do hope you're able to dispatch him. I cannot bring myself to do it. Who's Barnabas the Balmy? Surely you've seen the tapestry of him at Hogwarts. It hangs in the seventh floor corridor. He allegedly tried to train trolls for the ballet. You can imagine how that turned out. What exactly were you training the troll to do? I was hoping to train him to serve as protection for us. Frankly, I struggled to teach him even a word or two. Couldn't give him even a semblance of self-control. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no! I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done.
I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now.
I wish I'd paid more attention when I was at Hogwarts. I recall the stats from the Iron Dow, do you know? Hello again, Miss Wolf. Hello again. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? Do you know what you might be looking for? Oh, you're like that. I guarantee it. Thank you for your business. Hope you'll come and see me again. Revenia. It is on your head when you blame it as they found anything worth poaching their crack crop. Oh. 
Irondale's not half as tough as it sounds. Well, this might be the best meal I've had in years. No, I mean it. I don't think I should need to eat. <laughs> Until the next week. Hey, not quiet enough. Slippery little shrake, aren't you? No spy. Mastered expel your armors, haven't you? Perhaps that's all. I've seen many ways of war sting. useful when I have something to identify. I should show Deke.
I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Thank you for your help, Deke. Duncan owes his reputation to you. There you are. The cross one's duelist to beat. And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies? Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no. Bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. 
It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, uh, I. Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Stargazing as long as I could. All of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius if I have? Amit, where did you say that telescope was? Sitting in the storage room beneath the top deck. Look for the smaller set of stairs on the main observation deck. Thank you. Of course. Hurry back once you've found it. This was his old telescope. Looks practically brand new. Revenia. <sighs> A pristine night for stargazing. Do not let it be wasted. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? You mentioned astronomy tables earlier in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... Oh! I have the telescope. It's nicer than I had expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> But there is, um, something else. Yes. What is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help you find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. Oh, 
No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Hmm. A little foreboding. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. This is not as tidy as I expected. Lumos. More cobwebs. Ravel, you don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to the school out. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. Lumos! Look! There's a table! I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Emmett. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view.
Revelio. Peasy has a special knack. It's tormenting Professor Black. Revenia. Lumos. Alohomora. What do we have here? The Demi guys. now, Demi guys.
Numos. Rebellion.
Revelio. Alohomora. What are you up to now? Half a bottle of flabbergasted. That's the last time I ever pushed an idea. Mavelio. Valley. 
Ravenia. Anything to do with the Dark Heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the Dark Hearts. So he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it, if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? What does the Cruciatus Curse do? It's known as the Torture Curse. Crucio. It inflicts intense, excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently. His parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous, he was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Revelio.
over here quietly。